welcome to another video. It is me, Desiree. I join you here fresh out of the shower, no makeup. My skin is dry to the touch, but I wanted to do my morning skincare routine and kind of chat about New Year's resolutions and how I've been feeling, what my resolutions are, get a little bit personal here in the video. Um, and then I wanted also to show you the products I've been using lately in the winter time. So for the winter time skincare routine, this is gonna be the morning routine, by the way. Um, I don't switch it up too much. Uh, the nighttime routine is when I really go crazy. I feel like doing another one of those soon-ish, but I always get comments from people saying that's too many things, your skin can't absorb all of that or whatever, and I'm like, it doesn't really matter. I like doing it, so I'm gonna keep doing it. Uh, but in the morning time, I don't add in a ton of different things because I always put on makeup after I do my skincare, or like semi-quickish after I do my skincare, so I don't want a lot of extra stuff, a lot of extra layers or anything like that. So. Very basic routine here, but different products I'm gonna show you that I've been using. First, I need something on my freaking lips. I'm gonna use the uh, Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. This is the shade Vanilla Beige. I got this in the Sephora Advent Calendar, and so far, so good. I also put on these nails. Don't look too close, they're press-ons. And I don't think I did the best job this time. I don't know, I got them from um, the brand, the brand that does all the nails, I think it's Kiss. Uh, it's part of their Valentine collection. The cornflower blue packaging of these, just like, I was like a tractor beam. I had to get it. Mmm! This just feels so good! I really like this. I like this a lot. I get the hype. So far, I get the hype. We'll see how it continues to go. I need something on my face. It's been a little bit. Um, but normally what I've been doing first is the Rock Multi-Correction Revive and Glow Eye Balm with Vitamin C. I used one of these up already. I mentioned it in my December favorites. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. And you might be wondering, why do you have another one if you're not a fan? My precious, I'm trying to do something. You know how your cat just starts scratching for no reason whatsoever? Anyway, uh, because I found these for 90% off. I know they're a brand new product, but they were they were on a display that ended up going on sale, so I bought two of them, because I was really, really excited about this. I actually mentioned it in my video, skin hair I'm really excited about. There's an eyelash stuck to it. Uh, this is all I have left of this one. It's screwed all the way up. There's a lot inside the tube, because the other one that I used all the way up, uh, I dug in it with a Q-tip and just like trying to get all the balm out and I was so annoyed. Like why did they put so much down here? And I wonder if they count all of that towards the like total 0.14 ounces of product that they're saying you get. I wonder if they're counting all of that that's inside of the tube that you don't actually get to use unless you dig it out with something. Anyway, it's a little balm to put on your eyes. It feels good. It's nice and slippy but I haven't really noticed it do anything. It just feels good, it's nicely, nice and lightly moisturizing, but that's kind of it. I don't know. I wouldn't buy it again, especially because it's over $30, and I started and used up a whole one in a month. And this one, I wanna say I've had this one going for maybe two and a half, maybe three weeks, and look at it already. So. Definitely not worth the money. I don't think it's a good value for money either, um, but I have it so I'm gonna use it. Okay, let's put on some toner before I die. I re-pulled out the CeraVe Hydrating Toner. I used this for a little bit last year. I was really excited to get this. It's their Hydrating Toner. Hydrates, removes leftover residue, and helps restore and protect the skin barrier. It's got three essential ceramides, hyaluronic acid, and niacinamide, and it's alcohol-free. I've actually never used this to remove leftover residue. I'm guessing they mean to like put it on a cotton ball and swipe it on your face. I've never done that. I just get it, put it in my hand, and pat it all over my skin. Just gonna get a little blob, maybe like the size of a quarter. Sometimes I do another layer if I feel like it. Um, I might today, but we'll see. Mmm, it's just nice and light and watery. Feels really lovely. I do put everything down on my neck, but I'm not going to include that in the video because you don't need to see that. Uh, but I do put all my skincare down here as far as I can. Because why not? Ooh, let's do another layer. Why not? Why not? Do you guys remember that Hilary Duff song? It came on my playlist thing. You know when you put on like, it's not even on my playlist. It's just, it says like songs you might like based on what you already like. 
have on your playlist and that song came on. Anyway, let's talk New Year's resolutions, shall we? This feels so good. This feels so good. It's just light and silky. I swear toners, I, I like, where have these been all my life? I can't believe I only discovered them a couple of years ago. Oh, love so much. Mm. It's like a hug for your face. Okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna spray some of the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Veil Mist on my skin. Uh, I only have, like, I can see through the light here, there's about this much left. And the bottle ends right here, the rest of this is just glass. There's only like a couple of uses left in here. This is gonna be half off with Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty that they're doing right now. Well, they're not calling it that, but it's 21 days of like their skincare only. This is gonna be half off, I have to buy another one. I used to only use this um, for uh, makeup setting spray, because that's what I saw people use it for, so that's what I thought it was. But then I quickly realized like I'm wasting this as a skincare, as a, a makeup spray. I've gotta use this as skincare. I love it. I love it so, so much. So let's spray some on and then we shall chat. I'm trying to find where the straw is facing so I can make sure and get the right amount out or get it out. You know what I mean. Mmm. 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 I don't want to stop. When I start spraying this, I don't want to stop. It just feels so good. It's such a light mist. So I'm just going to let it sink in there while we chat a little New Year's resolutions. So. I have a couple of resolutions for 2023, like personal resolutions. I have some beauty ones too. I think I'll talk about those a little more maybe in like shop my stash for January that I'm gonna film right after this. Um, but personal resolutions, one, I wanna go without alcohol for the whole year, the whole entire year. It is a lofty goal. Um, for those of you that don't drink very often, I'm sure you're like, that's not even a goal. Like what's that, that's easy. But for those of us that drink on a regular basis, <laughs> It is a challenge and I actually quit alcohol on November 30th. I've been without alcohol for over a month now and I feel so good. And you wanna know who inspired me? Jacqueline Hill. I talked about this in one other video, I don't remember which one it was, but she put up a video saying, I went out without alcohol for 90 days, here's what happened. And then she put up another one on like things that helped me go without alcohol. I was so inspired. I was so inspired and I talked about it in a video saying I really wanna do something like that one day. And that day, November 30th, I actually was gonna drink that day. I wanted some Modelo's, like the Chilada, so bad. I was like, mmm, sounds so good. But I didn't get them and then the, the day went on and on and it got later in the evening and I was like, oh, by the time I finish them, it's gonna be late and I'll just sleep like crap, it's a whole thing. So I didn't get any and I had told myself I'm gonna quit drinking on December 1st and like soft launch my New Year's resolutions. That way it wouldn't feel so, uh, like so urgent to change everything on January 1st because I'll have already kind of started doing that and that way the time the first year, the first of the year comes around, it won't feel so heavy, you know, to like, oh my God, I gotta change all the things I promised myself I was gonna change. So once the New Year's resolution, once the New Year came around, I was like, I'm already doing it. I already feel really good. I cannot wait. I'm I'm like looking forward to the end of the year already to see how much better I feel. I feel so freaking good. Like so good. Um, November, December were hard months for me. Just like, I don't know. It was just heavy. Um, but once I took the alcohol out of the equation, everything got better. Everything felt better. Like I feel so freaking good, so good. So that's the biggest thing I wanna do this year. I wanna continue no alcohol. I wanna go the whole year without it. Yes, I even did New Year's Eve, no alcohol. And I don't remember ever doing that. Like maybe when I turned 21, I don't really know. Um, but I never did, never had done a sober New Year's Eve before. So actually doing it this year felt good. And I woke up on the first just like, here we are, January 1st, 2024, let's do it. And I was so excited, I was so excited to feel good. Um, and I'm excited to continue feeling really good throughout the year. I'm gonna throw on another toner. This is the Laneige Waterbank Blue Hyaluronic Revitalizing Toner. I got this, I wanna say, in a Laneige gift set that I bought. It's a little travel size and I have about this much left. I want this in a full size so freaking bad. I love the Laneige Waterbank uh, moisturizer. I absolutely love it. I'm using it currently, not in the morning. Um, but this toner, I kept putting it off to use it just because I had built up a hype in my head and I was afraid it wouldn't live up to it. But once I opened it and started using it, I was like, 
Oh God, here we go. Gotta buy a full size. It feels a little richer than the CeraVe one. Mmm. Not too rich, like it doesn't feel thick or heavy, but you could tell it's got some body to it, like Kelly Driscoll always says. It's got body. It just feels so good. Mmm. Mmm. This was uh, one product I did add in come like winter-ish time. Like, I know we always call like November winter, even though it's not winter. At least here where I live, it was not winter in November. Um, but this uh, added a lot to my morning routine because it like deeply gets in there with the hydration and a little bit of moisture, but not in a heavy way. So it didn't feel like I had an extra thing on uh, when I would go put on makeup and stuff. It's really, really lovely. I don't usually let my skincare sit this long in between steps. Normally I'm going and going quickly because I, I don't like things to dry down because then I feel like the next one you put on doesn't spread that easily. But I'm talking so much in the video that it just it's gonna happen, so what are you gonna do? Um, anyway, my other resolutions are, I obviously wanna get healthy, right? Everyone does. Everyone makes the resolutions at the beginning of the year to get healthy. Um, but one thing I wanted to do a little differently and of course, Jacqueline Hill inspired me again. I know that she can be a polarizing figure in YouTube world and in the beauty space, but I like her. I don't know. She she just has a really like high energy personality that I just I'm just attracted to. Like I I just like her. I like her. She talked about having a calendar that you put a star on for every day that you don't drink and I did it. I bought one and all of December it's full of stars and then now for January I'm putting stars on it every day and it's just so great to see it. Like look at all the progress I made. Every day I go look at it and I'm like, wow, go me, right? Go me. Because I've tried so hard to go without alcohol for years, years I've tried to do this and I'm actually going to do it and I'm just like so excited. Anyway. I was trying to tell you the other things. I'm just so excited about not being on alcohol. Anyway, um, the other resolutions I want to do, I want to get healthy, but I want to do uh, a 30 day block. Like what my intention was to go a whole month without, without alcohol. And then the next month add in another thing like, okay, now I'm going to eat. Um, I'm going to drink a smoothie every day for this whole month. Then the next month I'm going to go without alcohol. I'm going to have the smoothie. Then I'm going to do a workout every single day or something small. That way by the end of the year, I have all these good habits built in that I added in one month at a time. Because normally for New Year's resolutions times, we all do it. We all want to do everything at once. We want to do no alcohol. We want to do workouts. We want to do no sugar. We want to do healthy food only, no fast food, get to sleep early, do our skincare every day, wash our makeup off every day, um, like different things like that. We try to do them all at once. And then when we don't do all of the things right away, we think we failed, which we never do. It's not a failure. We're only human, right? We're only human. But I do want to add in another thing. And my intention was for January to add in uh, a simple workout every day. But I think, and I'm not trying to say, like I'm trying to put off the workouts, but I think what I want to do is, um, Add it in maybe in February. I want to I want to do another month of just the focusing on no alcohol thing, and maybe February add in the um, the workout, and then add that in with that, and you know go from there. Okay, I'm gonna use a, a vitamin C. This looks awful, but it's it's only because when I do my skincare, like I was saying, I usually do the steps really quickly. I don't let them dry down like this. Um, so my hands have stuff on them. They have toner all over them when I'm touching my other stuff. So the bottle looks yucky, but this is a vitamin C from Obagi, Obagi Medical, the professional C serum, 15% L-ascorbic acid vitamin C serum. I got this in a subscription box and I didn't open it because I've been using the number seven vitamin C for so long, uh, but I had this. So once I ran out of that, I opened up this. And this is really different from what I thought it was going to be. It's in a dropper style here, but it's in oil. I was not expecting it to be an oil. So I usually just do three drops of vitamin C, but this comes out so different. Uh, I'm just gonna pat it all around. And it stinks. It smells like licorice. And growing up, I always thought licorice was red because of Twizzlers. That was the licorice that I knew. But now I know when people say it smells like licorice, they mean black licorice. And that is what this smells like. Black licorice. Uh, but I don't smell it throughout the day. Um, sometimes I do if it's been like a sweaty day when your face is getting a little moisture on it from a little bit of a light sweat. Uh, it kind of reactivates the scent and then I'm like, is that me I'm smelling? And yes, it's the black licorice scent on my face reactivating. 
but I like the vitamin C. I actually really, really like it. And I do really like the oily quality to it. It adds a little bit of like, you know, when you put on a facial oil, like it feels really good and moisturizing, but it doesn't stay oily. It doesn't interfere with the other products on your skin. I've been really enjoying this quite a bit and uh, I'm gonna be sad when it runs out, although I don't enjoy the scent every day. Um, it's quite nice. And then all day yesterday, I don't even remember what I was saying, but all day, for some reason, something was popping into my head. Actually, when I came home yesterday, um, I kept telling my boyfriend, I have another New Year's resolution. And one of them was, I wanted to read all of my books. So I have read most of the books that I have. I don't have like a huge collection of books or anything, but um, I have a lot of books and I have good intentions with them. I wanna buy them and read them. I actually have one right here that inspired me to do this because I bought this book from Melissa Via Senor. I freaking love her. It's this lady right here. I don't know if you guys watch SNL. She's so freaking good at impressions and she's so funny. She was definitely like an underused person on SNL. Every time I'd see her on the show, I'm like, why don't they use her more? She's so funny. Anyway, she wrote that book and I had to get it because I like her and I want to support her. It Obviously, you saw it still has the receipt in it. Let me tell you when I bought it. Let me tell you the date. May 28th, 2023. Do you think I've done anything in it? No, have not. It's like a personal book. It's a workbook with activities, art, and stories for embracing your wonderfully awesome self. And I thought this would be really fun to do. And guess what? I haven't done anything in it. And it still has the receipt in it. Uh, but yesterday I was like, I want to read all these books and I'm going to do it. I'm going to read all the books. But I kept adding things to my list that I was quickly forgetting. Let's put on another serum. This one is almost out. It's the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% Zinc 1% Serum. Love this stuff. Been using it for, it feels like I've been using it forever. But if I looked back, I probably have been using this for like one or two years. I really don't even know, to be honest. It just feels like I've been using it forever and I love it so much. No, I was using this at the apartment. So I want to say it's been over. It's been at least three years that I've been using this, right? No, I've been using this since the apartment, haven't I? So I want to say it's been at least three years with this. I, I don't know. It just feels like forever. I love it. I never want to be without it. I feel like this combined with the vitamin C has done so freaking much for my skin. Like my hyperpigmentation on my forehead, it used to be like a giant rectangle here. It was coming down to here too. It's pretty much completely gone. There's one spot right here. And this is what I added in. This and sunscreen. Let me tell you, you gotta wear sunscreen. If you want to fix your skin in any way and you're not wearing sunscreen, you're doing yourself a disservice. <clears throat> Let's put on a little eye cream. Uh, another resolution I have is, I, I think this is going to come more throughout the year slowly as the alcohol is out of my life and out of my system and is allowing my brain to actually work throughout the year. I have felt like over the last few years, I've just been getting dumber and dumber and dumber. I feel like the alcohol has shrunk my brain to like this tiny little shriveled up little thing and it's in my head going, help me, I'm thirsty, help me. So now that I am not on alcohol, I hope my brain will continue to grow and get smarter. Oh my goodness. Uh, but no, I want to, what I actually wrote down here was reconnect with myself. I feel like I've been so disconnected to me, to, to my emotions, because I've been pushing them down so much and drinking them away so much. I just want to, I just don't want to feel the things that I, that I feel and I don't want to think the things that I think sometimes. And I feel like we all have days like that where we're like, ugh, just not feeling good and stuff. But I, I'm not good at just sitting with it and being like, okay, well, this is how I feel today. I'd rather drink it away, drink, drink some alcohol, get rid of it, feel really good for a little while and not feel those feelings and not tell anybody about them and just sit with them. But the thing with alcohol, you think and you feel in that moment that it's going to help you, but it's not. It's gonna do the complete freaking opposite. You're gonna feel really good in the moment, but you're gonna wake up the next day regretting what you did, 
regretting buying the alcohol, regretting spending the money, you're gonna feel like crapola, and the problem is still gonna be there. The problem is still gonna be there, you didn't even do anything with it. So you know what you're gonna do that day? You're gonna do the same thing, going, well, I'll deal with it tomorrow. And before you know it, tomorrow is 10 years ago, and you're still doing the same thing. You're still not addressing that issue. You're still suppressing yourself. And that's one thing that I hope to work on this year, and I think it's gonna come more as I, as I, like I said, I'm without alcohol, without that, um, I don't want to say a crutch, but without that depressant and with that suppressant um, in my system all the time, I hope to reconnect myself, rediscover myself, and be more myself all the time. I feel like I am myself a lot, but there's a lot that I don't express because, I don't know, just whatever, whatever, you know? Let's put on some moisturizer already. The moisturizer I'm using is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream with Sunscreen. I'm a huge fan of the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream in general, but I got the SPF 31 in the little like summer sunscreen thing that Sephora put out last summer, and I'm almost done with it. This has been a nice like fall winter sunscreen. I normally really like to put on a separate sunscreen, um, and, on, and when I started using this one, I think it was late summer or summertime, I didn't feel like this was giving me the sunscreen protection that I wanted, so I would put this on and then put on a separate sunscreen, but I think for fall and winter, this is totally fine. Ugh, got it all over my shirt. My skincare feels very different right now, like my face feels different having let each step pretty much dry. I mean, it wasn't dry to the touch, but it was like, sinking in a little bit more than I normally let it. And it feels different. It feels different, but you know, it feels good still. It feels nice and juicy and moisturized. Um, so yeah, that has been my current winter skincare routine. It's pretty much the same stuff. I Not the same stuff I use all the time, but the same kind of steps I always do. Always vitamin C, always the um, niacinamide, toners, and stuff like that. Same kind of stuff I always like to do in the morning. But that is it. That is my morning skincare routine all done. And hopefully you enjoyed my chat about New Year's resolutions. I know I just kind of went off talking about whatever, but let me know what some of your resolutions are. Are you working on your health? Are you making healthy choices in your life? I would love to know what they are. And if you have any tips on how to stay alcohol free, let me know because some days are really, really hard. I'm not going to lie. Some days are really hard. But that is it. Thank you so much for joining me today. La, 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 la. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe so you don't miss the next one, and I will see you later in another video. Goodbye.